you don't have four? I don't think so. That's all right. I'll just take it. It's a dollar. So it's, um, <laughs> it's a dollar. What are you doing? It's only a dollar. You don't <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Everything's for sale, that's a dog. Okay. <laughs> well then I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ask for the, the glove? Two bucks. Two bucks. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. How you doing? Oh, pretty good. Yeah, I'll be back. I'll just take these two halves. Oh, they're super gay, two dollars. Thank you very much. Do you know if this thing works? I just need a battery because... Oh, uh, I don't know. I think you have to unscrew the screw okay. in the back. Hang on, I'll do it. Uh, okay. Batteries are more expensive than what I want for it. So, you know, I was like, well... So four A. Oh, double A's. No, triple A's. Sorry. Thank you. I appreciate that doing that for me. Oh, that's okay. I don't know if it works or not. It's a good good question mm -hmm. because somebody else would have. 
You don't have four? That's right. I'll just take it. It's a dollar. So okay. I'm, I'm <laughs> it's a dollar. What are you doing? It's only a dollar. You don't have my dead <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll just take these three. So you got okay. 12, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Doesn't work on coming back. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you your Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. You guys have a great day. You too. Morning. Morning. How you doing? Okay. 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 How much are your clothes? Uh, is that a new one? Oh, it's... That's got a tag on it. Three bucks. Okay. 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 There you go, sir. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you. Can I have the hanger? Then? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I want my three bucks back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Is this five or fifty on here? Five. Huh? Um, five. <laughs> five, okay. Yeah, that's a dollar sign. Oh, <laughs> that, that looks a like a, oh, a zero, like fifty. Oh, yeah. Does it work as far as you know? We can try it with the plug it in. If we had, the, uh, huh? I just want to see if it works. Yeah. I'll, I'll, buy, I'll buy it if it works. A CD, do you? Yeah, I do. Right. Yeah. My dog can sit through the cat thing, <laughs> so I got a barricader.
Cut the volume. Yeah. All right. Okay. Fabulous. Sounds great to me. You want the CD? Is that a, is that a bonus? If you want it, you can have it. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. I'll unplug it. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you want you. a bag? No, it's okay. All right. Thanks for testing nice for me. Thing. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. I hate it when you buy things. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. I'm Jessica for the helmet. Ten. Ten? Yeah. You stake seven? <laughs> so I'll give you eight. How's that? Okay. Alright, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. How you doing, sir? I'm well, thank you. Yourself. Great, thank you. You see, all fan. How much are your, uh, your steins here? How about a dollar piece? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's take these three. Okay. Would you like a box? Uh, sure. Love the idea of being out here and watching the sun come up. That's true, that's good. There we go. Wonderful day for us. I'll take this one soon. Okay, that one too? Yeah. Okay, you got it. Get you. There you are. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thought they were a dollar each. They were. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Shoot, what I did. So four, I need yeah. six. Yeah, yeah. Western High School's math program. <laughs> <laughs> How are you this morning? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes. Yeah. Sorry about that. Well, Thank you. Th you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hello. Hello. How much are you asking for the ticker toys? I think I'm going to ask four for those. Four, okay. I don't have the lid. If I had the lid, they would be 15. They actually, they're old. They were my husband's and he's 72. Oh, wow. Here's the price Those are just 50 cents a piece. I would take a dollar for them. So you five, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
Do she swear 10? Yes, I do. Uh, uh, this was my husband's. I don't know if it works or doesn't work. If you're into something like that, it might be of interest. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Have a great day. Garage sale. And we, uh, we found the Cosmo and stuff and just put our stuff in there. And How much are these? All of them oh, for $2. Oh, is it $2? Okay. We don't need one. We have one. See, this gentleman knew what they were. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the tapes. Thank you. Thank you. The one? So you all have the set tapes. Hello. Okay. Oops. I'll just take these. Do you want the hanger back? No, you're fine. Okay, thank you. Ten bucks, please. Mm-hmm. Did you change for 20? I have, yes. I thought I had a 10. Cheers. Thank, Thank you very much. much. So this morning was a very, very fun day for your boy, Ronnie Bizzle. Today was one of the reasons why I love going to garage sales. I just love the process of going to each house and finding treasures and getting them at super dirt cheap prices. Just stuff that people just, they want to get rid of. They just want to get rid of stuff and they want to give you it for pennies and a dollar. Because today there were two community yard sales that I went to. Um, the second one was actually near where I live. But unfortunately I couldn't get any footage of those garage sales because by the time I got to that garage sale, those, these garage sales in my neighborhood, my GoPro battery died. <laughs> so as you saw in the vlog, all you saw was um, a community a yard sale that I went to um, about 15 minutes away from here. And I got some incredible stuff. My philosophy in community yard sales, because there's so many yard, um, yard sales in one area, was to just get out there, look around, see if I find anything, and then go to the next one. So there wasn't too much browsing. Um, I was trying to hit as many garage sales as possible. And knowing, pinpointing exactly what I'm looking for, then finding that stuff and then go and get it, buy it, and then leave. So as a result, I got a lot of stuff. I got a ton of stuff. So 
I'm not going to show you everything that I that I um, got. You, you can see in the vlog some of the stuff that some of the things that I got, but I am going to show you some of the stuff that either are will sell for big money, or it's from from the second community yard sale that I went to that I did not record. So and I'll show you all that. Um, not not too many home runs. I think I had, I had one or two home runs in this uh, garage sale lot. But a lot of stuff were cheap. I got stuff for like dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four or five dollars, and Nick or sell for like twenty to thirty dollars. So the ROI is there. So that's what I got a lot of today. The majority of my stuff is stuff like that. But let me just show you some of the highlights of some of the stuff that I got. Okay, the first thing I got was this brand new women's uh, Alex Smith jersey, still with the tags on it. This is when he played for the Chiefs, right there. Beautiful. She never wore it. She said. And this is one of the things I got from a yard sale that I did not record. And I paid five bucks for this. You know, Alex Smith is a quarterback. He plays for the Redskins now. And um, he's, a, he's like a big story right now because of he broke his leg. Now he's back. And the fact that it's this is when he played for the Chiefs. And, you know, the Chiefs, that combination, the Chiefs are one of those high profile teams right now. This should go for a pretty decent money. This is a really cool find. I got this as a um, umbrella. Um... Umbrellas are really, really good to uh, buy because uh, they do resell for a pretty decent money. And the reason why I bought this one, this is a Burberry. I don't know if you see, see that's the, that plate right there. That's the Burberry tag. And I'm not going to open it in here because I am kind of superstitious about opening umbrellas indoors. <laughs> Anyways, there is a, uh, it says Burberry here. There it is right there. Burberry's, right there, Burberry's perfume. So this might be a, a promotional umbrella. So, but the name Burberry carries a lot of weight. And, you know, they sell purses and clothes and stuff. So this should go for pretty decent money, I believe, because the name Burberry. Great condition. Barely, barely even been used. And I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep this, even though I don't really need it in Las Vegas because it never rains over here. But either way, I'm very happy with this pickup. $3 for this Burberry umbrella. All right, guys, this was not a, this was not a great buy. I thought it was worth more than it actually was. This is a Canary cycling um jersey and i know that the canary uh brand can bring some pretty good money depending on what the print is now when i saw this i thought this was a um a very unusual print because the person that owned this she actually was from england you could tell by her accent and how she was talking she's from england but i paid five bucks for this it's a size medium uh unfortunately this is not the main US, the ones that are worth money made in the usa had weird designs but this one in particular does not go for very good money. But, you know, I paid five bucks for this. It was probably a $15 item. So, you know, I thought it'd be worth more. But, you know, it's still it's still pretty good. I, I'll make three times my money if I sell it. So it's not all that bad. All right, pair. Uh, here's, a, here's a pretty good cycling uh, shoe brand you should buy. The brand is Shimano. Shimano here. Very, very good condition. You can see it right there. Paid five bucks for these. These are women's. And these are a size nine, so these should these usually go for decent money uh, in the thirty to fifty dollar range. And I paid five five bucks for this, so really really cool find here. All right, this thing is actually cool. These are vintage Tinker Toys, and you see it right there. All the Tinker Toys are there. She was selling this for four dollars, and the lady, you know, saw, you saw in the video, said her husband owned it, and he saw the lady's a little older in her seventies. And this is a uh, from nineteen. 19... Check the roll, 1978. I think it's 1978. 1978 Tinker Toys. And also many Tinker Toys go for pretty, pretty decent money. I paid four bucks for this. Uh, I just bought it because it was vintage, 1978. And uh, so that's, what was that, 34 years? Or was it 34? I, don't, I can't do my math right now. It's 43 years old, these Tinker Toys. So... Um, I got still do a little bit of research, see how much they're worth, but I think they'll go for a pretty decent money. Even if I don't sell it with the with the uh, with the case here, I think the toys itself will go for a pretty decent money. So, vintage ticket toys, people still want them. All right, guys, the next thing I'm gonna show you has the potential to be one of my one of my better scores I've had in a long time. Um, when I saw this item initially, I thought nothing. I just thought it was a uh, what it was. It's the official Franklin. Scrabble Players Dictionary. Looks like it's from night from 1992, 2003. I think this was made in 95. It looks like 
Anyway, it's a model SR SCR uh, electronic um, uh, like a player's dictionary. Anyways, when I was at the yard sale, the lady was trying to um, test it for me, and she couldn't she didn't have a battery for this um, because these take very unusual batteries. It takes actually a quadruple A battery. I never thought they existed. Anyways, when I got home and did my initial research on this, I saw for this thing goes for really good money. Brand new, these go for $150, brand new. Used, it goes for between $70 and $100, used. Now, I the, the only issue with this, is I don't know if it works because like I said, we didn't test it. So, I mean, it looks like it's barely been used. And you can see it here, just barely even been used. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to a Walgreens or something, try to get some quadruple A batteries and see if this works. And if it does work, this is a major score. One dollar into about 80 bucks. You cannot beat that. All right, guys, shout out to the Bonafide Hustler who turned me on to these uh, brand of shoes. These are Chaco. See right there, size 10, really, really good condition. You can just see how great these uh, things are. Uh, I did pay the $10 for these, but I know, uh, according to the Bonafide Hustler, these go for like $50 to $80. And just the fact that, look at the nubs on these, just perfect condition. So these are actually my size. So I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to keep these, <laughs> but um, you know, it's hard to get chocolates for cheap. So. Either way, I'm very, very satisfied. If I keep them, if I sell them. But once again, thank a shout out to the Bonafide Hustler who turned turned me on to these uh, brand of shoes. I never never would have known about these unless I watched his channel, Chacos. All right, got a got a couple of uh, snapback hats, uh, the LA Clippers and the USC Trojans. Yeah, I, I bought these because they still had the tags on them, sort of. <laughs> this one looks a little dirty here. You can see stuff from the brim. I can see the camera plate a little bit dirty, so I have to clean that up. So. Um, this is a Mitchell and Ness. This is a repop, even though it has the uh, the green brim, which tells that it's from the 90s. This is actually a repop. So, and, and it's cotton. That's another telling toy because the Mitchell and Ness that are from the, that, that were first started, that are worth a lot of money, are the ones made out of wool. So this is a repop, um, not worth um, as much as the wool ones, but I paid a dollar each for these. So either way, I should be making make money. And you know, uh, these are two brands that uh, a lot of people know about. The LA Clippers are an NBA basketball team that are very popular. And the USC Trojans. And uh, this is super nice here. This is, a, I think this is a cotton as well. But yeah, this uh, yard sale had a lot more other hats. I probably should have bought all the hats now that I think about it because it's only a dollar each. But, you know, I was kind of being a little cher cherry picking, trying to get the best ones. So anyways, uh, look out for these kind of hats, these, these snapbacks. People still want them. All right, guys, the final thing I'm going to show you is probably my best score of the day. And unfortunately, this is from the uh, second set of community yard sales that I went to. So I could not record all of this. Uh, anyways, this is a new in the package Lego set. This is Nin Ninjaro. I guess Ninjaro there. Um, I, paid, I paid the 10 bucks for it. And I looked it up. This is going for like... 80 to 100 dollars brand new and i talked to the guy that sold it. he actually bought it for his kids and he said his kids never wanted to play with this so i'm just gonna sell it so it's really funny story um there's there's a little bit you know it is, it is brand new never been used there is an issue with it there's a little dent on the box on the bottom here so i have to disclose that in the listing when i list this but you know lego sets go for really good money you know the the certain like types of sets go for just huge money and more so when it's sealed like this. So, you know, I could have tried to negotiate this down, but for $10, my ROI is still going to be pretty, pretty decent. So I'm very, very happy with the... Uh, so look out for these uh, sealed Lego sets. If you see them out there in the wild, pick them up. People love them. There's a, a huge following for uh, Lego sets like this. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Like I said, I was going crazy, going trying to hit as many yard sales that I can. And I think I ended up going to maybe 30 to 35 garage sales within like four hours today. <laughs> that's a lot. And that's the great thing about community yard sales. It's all in one little section so you can hit as many as you can and try to find some deals. So whenever you go to a community yard sale, it's it's very, very important to hit them, hit them quick, 
look around, see what you can find, and then go to the next one because it's a race to get to the garage sales and get, get all the good stuff. You know, you can go as fast as you can, but you just won't hit all of them. But like I said, it's being about it's about being efficient with your time. That's the key to community yard sales. Get there, find your stuff, and get on go on to the next one. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do hit the subscribe subscribe button down below. Share with your friends. And if you have something you want to comment on, leave a comment below. I try to answer all of them as soon as I can. And hey, did I miss anything? Is there anything I missed in the garage sales? Please. Leave in the comment below if I miss something. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. For your boy, Ronnie Bizzle. Thanks for watching, everybody.